Hey guys, this is David with Great Choice Audio Video. Hey, today we got video number three on Josh. So we've done a intro video kind of talking about Josh. We did a video on kind of controlling music. Um, and now this is a video on controlling um, other audio video gear. Um, today we're going to show you how it interacts or how it controls the Roku. Uh, the Roku is one of the devices that Josh um, kind of tailored around as far as controlling all your media. Uh, a lot more people these days are going to streaming, streaming all their their Netflix, the Hulu, the H Amazon, the YouTube TV, all those different you know s services. So uh, we're kind of doing the same thing here. So I want to show you guys kind of how it works, uh, controlling those devices uh, or device, and show you how easy it is to control it with voice, and then of course with the Josh app. We'll start with voice stuff first, guys, and then. Um, We'll show you how you can go back and forth between uh, TV stuff and music and how you can do some cool things like uh, timers, uh, turning the system off, that sort of thing. So we'll start with the first thing. And we just want to turn the TV on uh, and go to you know, YouTube TV. Let's say we use YouTube TV to stream all of our um, TV stations and channels and whatnot. So we'll start with that command. Okay, Josh, turn on YouTube TV. YouTube TV. TV comes on. Okay, Josh. Go to YouTube TV. YouTube TV. And as you see, there's YouTube TV and pulls it up and it goes mainly to the home screen of YouTube TV, then you can navigate it. Now, you know, I probably wouldn't suggest trying to navigate. Um, using voice to go through all your channels and everything. Um, I'll actually show you guys on, on how it works with the app. It's a lot easier with the app uh, to control, you know, up and down, side to side, fast forward, rewind, play, all that good stuff. So I'll show you that guys here in a few minutes, but right now we'll start with voice stuff. So we have YouTube TV. Let's say now we want to watch something um, on Netflix. You know, we want to, want to watch a movie. So, okay, Josh, go to Netflix. Netflix. So with voice, it can actually, through the Roku, switch between apps. And so now we're in Netflix. Now, um, if you know exactly which movie you want to go to, or that's already in Netflix, you can actually say the name of the movie, and it will pull that up too. So let's try, it's almost Christmas, so let's try this one. Okay, Josh, go to the Christmas Chronicles in Netflix. I'm watching Christmas Chronicles. There we go. Takes you straight to the Christmas Chronicles so we can begin playing. One of the great movies. If you guys haven't seen it, there's also Christmas Chronicles 2. So, so that's going between YouTube TV, Netflix, and then now you can even go to YouTube and... Um, Let's see here, let's think of a, a video. You can actually go directly to a video or you can just go straight to YouTube and then navigate from there through the app or whatever. But let's see if we can go to a particular video. Okay, Josh, find a video on Tesla Model Y. I'm watching on Tesla Model Y. So now it's switching from what it was on Netflix before. Go to YouTube. And let's see if it brings up that video. Of course there's an ad. Why would there not be an ad? <laughs> but I bet you <laughs> after this ad, uh, we have a Tesla Model Y video. There you go, Tesla Model Y. Pretty cool. Um, actually, I've seen this video. <laughs> so, uh, so I've shown you guys YouTube TV, uh, Netflix, um, YouTube, you know, by voice. Um, again, you can do volume by voice too. Okay, Josh, turn the volume up to 50%. Volume set. Uh, it's a smaller, See, slightly now it's smaller much louder. Uh, Pretty cool. Um, so if you know percentages, you know, you can go up, down, pause, that sort of thing. Okay, Josh, turn the volume down to 30%. Okay, Josh, turn the volume down to 
Volume set. See, now it's turned it down to 30%. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, let's say, you know, we've got the TV on like we do, and we, we want to watch whatever's on the TV, but we want to listen to our music. Um, so we're actually using a Sonos port. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Sonos port. And <laughs> it's hooked to one of our Sonance DSP amplifiers. And so through that uh, setup, we're able to do voice through Josh and control music almost instantly um, and very seamlessly through voice and through the app. So like I said, right now we're on the Roku on the TV. But let's say, hey, now we want to listen to some music, but leave this on. So um, let's see here. What kind of music do we want to listen to? Let's try some, oh, <laughs> how about some Van Halen for you guys? Okay, Josh. Let's hear some Van Halen. Now playing Van Halen. Jump, look at that. So just like that, it's able to switch inputs and go to music and find your song or playlist or category, whatever you said to Sonos, very, very quickly. Um, super cool. And again, you can volume up and down through voice or through the app uh, very easily. So um, now, now guys, I hope by now you guys have subscribed, hit that thumb or uh, thumbs up, and uh, leave us any comments down below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you, you know, hear the comments and what you guys have to say. We have a lot of videos coming up. Um, we got more videos on Josh, more in depth detail on Josh as we get more things. We have uh, motorized shades video coming up. We have a um, controlled lighting with Lutron coming up, and a few others. So looking forward to get those done for you guys, and then you know many many others that we were working on. So now we've shown video. Show music. Now let's say we want to, we want to turn off the system, and but we don't want to turn off right now. We want to turn off the TV now, but we want the music maybe to continue to play for maybe 30 more minutes or something like that as people are going, and then you know it'll turn off the room. Now if we had lighting control in here, we could add that to the scenario. In another video, you guys will show you how to create scenes, uh, which would be super cool too. So just for now, I'm just going to show you just a 10 second timer because. You probably don't want to sit here and wait while something's not really happening. So let's do 10 seconds. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the TV. The TV's going to go off right away, but then it'll wait 10 seconds to turn off the music. Kind of like if you're gradually leaving the room or going to bed or whatever it may be. So let's try that. Okay, Josh, turn off the TV and the music in 10 seconds. Powering off. And I'll do that in 10 seconds. So you heard the command. TV went off. Still playing music, but it told us that it's going to turn everything off in 10 seconds. And there it went. So pretty cool guys, pretty simple. And that's with voice. So I want to show you guys real quick on what the app looks like. Just navigating through the Roku, um, how simple it is. It's swipe gestures, things like that. So bear with me and I'll get everything set up and we'll show you guys how that looks. All right guys, I'm back here with you. Here's the app. So of course this is my system here. So it has my name at the top. It says music is playing in one location. Should I pause? We're going to ignore that message. Um, and it tells you what's going on in the house. So we want to control the TV in the game room. It says one TV on in the game room. So we're going to select it. And uh, yeah, do we want to turn the video on and off? No, we just want to control what's on in the uh, game room TV. So we're going to select that. So it's going to take us to this page. So these are all the controls you need. So see it says swipe to move, tap to enter. I mean, it, it's, just, it's all you're doing. So um, swipe down, moves the TV, swipe up, swipe to the side, and then select enter, enters what's going on or what, you know, what station you want to watch or whatever. Um, home, uh, right here, takes you right back to the main homepage of the Roku. Then back is just, you know, kind of like going backwards one step at a time. And then you have your play pause and then forward. These are forward. 15 second increments. So if you're trying to forward past commercials in the program that you may have recorded or, or you're watching a movie, um, you can forward and wind just by hitting these buttons. And I tell you what, with the Roku, it's super fast. I mean, you, it'll go forward by as fast as you can hit the button. I mean, just hitting it did, 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 right in a row, it'll go that fast. It's pretty slick. I'm not sure how it responds so fast, but it does. And then right here at the bottom, you can see here's a slider. There's your volume. So super easy. Um, like I said, this is just the Roku 
uh, controls. You know, there's not a lot of controls because um, it's just home and then <laughs> swipe up and down and it's simple gestures uh, to navigate through the whole menu system. Um, and then if you need to type something out, you know, there's a keyboard right there. You can type out, you know, what you want to do. Super simple, guys. Um, you know, this, like I say, you know, when you're trying to navigate your Roku with voice, I mean, it works really well going between apps, but I doubt you'd want to do voice the entire time uh, to navigate the, the Roku when you're going between channels or um, just doing some searching. So this makes it super nice and easy to do your navigation. So let me... Um, now show you kind of what it looks like just navigating through the menus up on the screen. All right, here we go. A little bit of navigation. Swipe. Go down. Library. Go back to home. Press enter or press the middle button. Then you just scroll down by swiping. Swipe up. Swipe to the right. And then tap to enter. Super easy to use, guys. Vibe up and down slider. So, again, guys, this app right here, very easy. Uh, as you can see it, just a little swipe. See? Very simple. All right, so that concludes the end of this video. What do you guys think so far of Josh? Uh, you think you'll like it, not like it? Uh, what else you want to see that Josh can do? Like I said, we have a few more videos we want to do uh, showing how Josh can uh, work in your home, whether it's the lights, the shades, the music, the audio video, um, all those sort of things. Um, super cool product. We really like it. Trying to implement this in as many homes as we can. Uh, again, it can be standalone and it also can work with other third party companies. So, again, drop your suggestions down below. Hit that like bell or like, <laughs> hit that like thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you guys get notified every time we do a video. And like I said, I hope you guys like the video. Uh, we got more coming in, uh, in the next uh, week or so. So until next time, we'll see you guys.